This video is powered by Goalie Guild Gaming. G3 has partnered with us to help make these videos possible and is dedicated to supporting esports goalies around the world. In this video, we're going to talk about how to save breakaways in NHL 21. And let me tell you, it's not the easiest thing to do this year. Shooters got a lot of extra speed and power, and they seem to be able to find to the back of the net when they're shooting around near our posts. So it doesn't make it easy on us, but it is not impossible. And if you do some of the right things, you can make breakaway saves and bail your team out. It's an important part of being an elite level goalie, and you need to be able to make some of these saves every once in a while. We're gonna do these tips just a little bit different than in years past, because there's no hard and set way to save every single breakaway. You have to read the shooter. You have to read a bunch of different things and make a decision. So we're gonna play a little game in the middle of this video uh, that I think is a format I'm gonna use going forward for a lot of tips we do. But first, let's talk about some of the things that you should be looking for to help you make these decisions. So when the skater crosses the blue line, the first thing you need to do is check the skater's approach angle, how they're approaching the net and what angle they're attacking you from because you need to square up to them. The next thing you need to do is establish some depth near the top of the crease, but you don't want to go outside of it. If they load up for a shot, you can actually challenge it, uh, but if you get too far out of your crease, you're going to get beat on the sides. The next thing you need to do is check for your defense. Do they have a lane covered? Are they going to catch the skater? Uh, these are certain things you need to watch for just in case they're going to get a poke off, and it can also sort of influence which direction the skater is going to go. Now we're going to look at that a little bit later in this video because uh, it's not always true. At a certain level, skaters don't really care what the, where the defense is and they're going to try and beat them no matter what. But for a lot of players, for most of you, you can sometimes rely on your D-man when they're going to catch them to help influence what side the skater is going to go to. So after you've checked for your defense, you've got some good depth in your crease, you've got the angle established, you need to watch for the skater's speed. This is a really important one. If they're coming in really fast at you, they have way less time to make different moves. They probably only have time to make one or two stick fakes, but they're only gonna be able to change direction once. Now, if they're coming in slow or they're on a penalty shot, they're gonna have a lot more time and space to change directions on you, so you're gonna have to outweigh them longer. All right, and that brings us to our second last point. You need to wait, all right? You need to outweigh the shooter to make a decision on what side they're gonna to go to. Now, you can't just stand at the top of your crease the whole time, especially if they wait as long as they can to make a decision. So, to buy yourself more time, you're gonna to need to maintain a proper gap between yourself and the skater by creeping back in your crease, all right? If they're coming in really fast at you, you're gonna to wanna to do this fast. If they're coming in slower at you, you're gonna to wanna to creep back a little bit slower but moving backwards buys you more time and it also gives you a little bit of added momentum when you do finally pick to slide left or right to make a breakaway save. Okay, so we match the skater's angle. We establish some depth near the top of our crease. We've seen where our defense is at and we've noticed the skater's approach speed and we're outweighting them and we've maintained a proper gap, and now comes decision-making time. Once a skater picks a side, you need to stay with them and commit hard to one side or the other. You can do this by standing up if you're matching their speed. You can butterfly slide if you think you're gonna need to get in front of your post, okay? There's a lot of different tools you can use in this game to do that, uh, but you need to commit extremely hard to make a good save. Now to help explain a great diving poke check technique, here is the crease police. Thanks John. How's it going everyone? Crease police here and I want to talk about the flying poke check. The first thing I want to mention is to not let your ego or pride get in the way. You know, our team Composure just won the Sharks gaming event for $20,000 and personally I probably use the flying poke a bit more often than other top goalies. I know we all want to make saves the normal way, standing up making a perfect read every time, but in the end, do what you think is best in that moment. The next thing I want to talk about with the flying poke is the controls. It's up on the left stick in X, or up in square if you're on PlayStation, but a key thing is that you want to get as much momentum moving up in the crease as possible. You want to catch the skater off guard by closing the distance sooner than they expect. 
Now I do this by doing a very quick butterfly slide up in the crease just before I press the X or square button. So it's up in butterfly and then square, or up in butterfly and then X. Your goalie might not always drop to butterfly, but the purpose is to quickly gain speed moving up in the crease. Now with this, you'll reach the skater a few feet earlier than they expect, and you may stop them before they can skate around you. So the next time you hop into a game, be sure to practice these controls when the puck is on the other end of the ice. Thanks for that. Let's move on to our little quiz. Okay, none of these saves are easy by any means, but I'm going to try to increase the difficulty as we go through this. So first clip, Red Devil playing in the LGCHL on PSN. And uh, this pink forward has a clean breakaway. He reaches the hash marks. And is he going forehand or backhand here based on what you saw? If you guess backhand, you're right. This guy fakes to the forehand once, brings it back to his backhand, and Red Devil stays with him. A little bit aggressive for my liking, but hey, you made the save, so who am I to judge? Next, we have Big Irish Jim in the LGCHL facing a penalty shot. Is this guy going backhand or forehand? And this one should be easy. Uh, he, he made his move pretty early, and he's going to the forehand, and Jim stays with him and makes a save. Now, this one's, I think this one's a little bit tougher. All right, Red Devil's playing in Division One club game, and he's facing a penalty shot. Skater is doing a couple moves in the slot, changing his angle. Very tough. Is this guy going to go to his backhand side or his forehand side? If you guess backhand, you're wrong. The skater goes to the forehand, and Red Devil manages to stay with him. That's an incredible save. Okay, we have Acuna Matata playing in what looks like to be an elite level club game. The skater reaches the hash marks here. Uh, he's got good depth. He's got a good gap. Is this skater going backhand or forehand? If you guess backhand, you're wrong. The skater goes forehand. It's a really solid move, but an even better save. He stays with him until the last second. Okay, these next clips all come from McSavid, who plays in elite level club games and plays in the NHL Gamer ECL Elite League. So this is a bit of a mix up from different different leagues and different games. This looks like it's an ECL Elite game. And you're gonna see the guy has the puck just after the hash marks here. Is he going to his forehand or his backhand side? If you guess forehand, you're right. And this is a tough read because it appears like his D-men have the lane covered, but in actual fact, they both whiff on the poke and this guy still takes it forehand. That's why it's important to be able to read the skater rather than always relying on your D-men to bail you out. In years past, I would have said to take the opposite side that your D-men had covered. But this year, they tend to whiff on pokes more often, so it's very important for you to read the shooter and the skater. Now, if your D-man has a lane covered and the guy doesn't try to skate through him, you have to save it. You have to kind of lean towards the open side and hope your D-man bails you out. You just have to be ready if the guy tries to skate through him. Okay, this one's a really tough one. I believe it's ECL Elite as well. The skater's on his forehand here at the hash marks. You can see... McSavid is at the top of his crease. He's in really good position. Does this guy go forehand or backhand? And if you guess backhand, you'd be correct. This guy pulls it from his forehand, which it looked like he could have even shot it here, but he pulls it to his backhand and McSavid stays with him using that speed boost, by the way. McSavid loves to use the speed boost and he makes a great backhand save. Okay, again, in this clip, the skater has a clean breakaway. McSavid faces a lot of breakaways. He reaches the hash marks here. Is he going forehand or backhand? If you guess forehand, you're right. This guy holds on his forehand the whole time and tries to get McSavid to bite, but all he does is move back in his crease and makes a high-quality forehand save. It would have been very easy to cheat towards that backhand and fall for the fake, but he doesn't. Okay, another clean breakaway. This guy reaches the hash marks after making three fakes. Okay, we're going to freeze it right here. Is this guy going to shoot it on his forehand side, or is he going to pull it to his backhand side? 
If you guess backhand, you're right. This guy put in four fakes. This is a very tough save to make. And it looks to be at the highest level. And he pulls it to his backhand. And what allowed him to make this save was pulling back in his crease. He was able to buy himself extra time by moving back. And he outweighed the guy until he had to go and make a decision. And he reads him and makes the backhand save. All right, we're going to throw in a bonus clip here. It's not really a breakaway, but it sort of is. It's a cut play towards the net. This winger, this green winger, is going to get the puck. Look at McSavid's positioning. It's really good. Okay. Is this green guy going to get the puck and go forehand or backhand based on what you saw? If you guessed backhand, you'd be right. He's skating full speed with his body pointed at his backhand side. McSavid sees this, and he also kind of realizes that he's beat. So he goes right stick down to spread eagle, and he makes a very high quality save on a cut play in what I imagine is to be a pretty big game. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do this format way more often. I, I, let me know what you think about it, but I really like it. So we're going to do these kind of quizzes quite frequently for different types of plays, breakaways, one-timers, cut plays, behind the net plays. All right, we got lots of footage locked up and ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.